Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be tying an orange head damselfly. So the hook I have in the vise is a B175 Camazan and I have a 3.8 painted orange bead on and the thread I'm going to be using today is olive uni thread 80. So we just catch on in behind the bead. Just build up a bit of a base of thread there so as the bead won't slide up and down the shank. What we do is just up and down, create a nice taper. Should do just enough so as the bead doesn't slide. Still need a wee bit more. And this should hopefully be us here. It's us, yep. So now, just continue down with your base layer of thread. Just past the point of the hook. Takes a wee while to get there, just with the, the finer thread. So that's us there. And then, trim off. So for the tail of the fly, I have some medium olive, medium olive marabou. So just pull out a feather, separate maybe an inch and a half, two inches of fibres and just tear them off. So just roll them about, pulling out any loose broken bits. It doesn't have to be too long for a damsel pattern but and then just pinch and loop. Holding it on the top of the shank, a couple of turns just to hold it in. Again, just check there's no broken fibres in the back there, that's not too bad. So, everything that's in front of us, we'll just take our thread back up to tidy it all up, catch it all down. <coughs> Trim that bit off there, just because it'll make sort of a lump up towards the head of the fly. There we go, just tidy all that down. And then I'm going to be bringing my rib down, which today is some of this UV orange ribbon. Just great looking stuff, there's a lovely wee sheen off it. So we catch it in, just at our bead and bring it down. Nice touch and turns. Helps keep her body nice and even. All the way down to where we tied her tail in. There we go. That's not too bad there. So for her body, I'm going to be using some olive dubbin. Don't know exactly what it is, I don't think it seals fur, but it's very easy to use. Dubs on quite well, comes in a good range of colours. I use it quite a lot in a variety of other flies, especially lock flies, again just because of the, the range of colours it's available in. So dub on. Just a nice wee noodle there and work your way up. Try and taper it slightly as you're moving up towards the bead, just increasing on the way up. If you need to add a little bit more, that's no problem. Just take another pinch. There we go. So, almost up to your bead, but just not quite, leaving a bit of room for your haggles. And then we just wind our rib up. So, nice open turns. In fact, I think that's quite wide. I'm maybe not happy with that. So, what we'll do is 
we'll take it back and I'll twist it a few times just to try and make that rib a bit finer. That's better looking there. We just weren't seeing very much of the body through it, it was kind of taking over the fly a bit. That's us now. Nice open turns up to your bead. Catch over. And then with our old scissors, because this stuff could be quite tough, we'll trim it off. I'm just going to take my Velcro and try and tease out some of the seals for her. It's a damsel fly, so it wants to be quite buggy looking. Now this fly is going to have a couple of hackles in it. The first one I have is some dyed olive French porridge. So we'll just peel off any of the fluff. You're looking for quite a small feather in this but something that's well marked, plenty of brown. And we're only really going to use maybe turn, turn and a half a haggle. So separate the tip and make sure you're tying it in with a curve at the top, that'll just make it look it'll be easier to work with. So tie it in and trim off our waist. Again, because the fibres in this are quite long, one or two turns is more than ample. You find any more than that, and it just seems to sweep right back into your tail. Stroking your fibres back, finger and thumb. There we go, and catch it in. As you can see, there's not too many turns, but the fibres are quite long. So just nick the stem, the stalk of the fly or feather, and that'll pull any bits out. Just to get another few more turns over that to tie it down, it just helps fill in the, the void and below the bead as well. And then for our second haggle, I have again some dyed olive English partridge this time. <coughs> Slightly different markings on the feather. The other one tends to have a a brown band on it where this is more speckled. So same as the last feather. Separate the tip, catch it in. Come off her tip. And then with our haggle pliers again, sometimes you have to be gentle with these. The tips can be quite fine. Okay the feathers are always relatively quite small so you don't get too many turns out of it. Just oh, stock broke there. So just checking everything's okay. We'll go again over the top and then tighten in with our thread. Two three turns just to secure it. Taking our scissors, nicking our stock off, and then a marabou there floating about. Just a few turns of thread to bind everything down, cover up any bits that are sticking out, any bits of haggle stock or anything. And we're ready now for a drop of varnish. So just coat the thread there few droplets on it. There's four turns. Just give it a second or two to all soak in and then whip finish over the top. And there we have the hothead damsel. 
great fly for rainbow trout lakes, small waters. One of the ones usually finds a place on my cast, especially if I'm fishing somewhere new I've never been before. It's quite good for stale fish as well as fresh fish. <laughs> 